Hello everyone. Um, we currently have a car that we can drive, but um, as you can see, uh, the car is uh, sliding when turning, and uh, we want to change that. But uh, first of all, we want to see some variables uh, while the game is running. Um, so let's add a new scene. Here on the left side we want to display some variables so that we can inspect them while the game is running. So let's rename this control to status. And uh, let's add a color rect. Okay, let's change the color. And uh, make it a little bit transparent. And uh, we want to add a label. This is where we display our variables. We want uh, the label to be named debug. And <coughs> here we enter some text. Uh, this text will be uh, replaced at runtime. We will see that later. So let's save this scene. Okay. So let's add <coughs> let's add this scene, the status scene to our start scene. And um, let's add a script. To the start scene. The ready function we don't need. The uh, label we can uh, we want to access the label and here we want to replace the static text with uh, Okay, let's let's first try some some static static text to see um, whether it works at all. Oh, 
Okay, that uh, looks good. So let's display the um, angular velocity just to see whether that works or not. So first we need to access the car because uh, the angular velocity is a property of the rigid body. Monterey is of type vehicle controller. And uh, let's give the um, the float va value some format. We want uh, a precision of uh, three digits. And now we can access the angular velocity. and uh, test. Hmm. What's wrong? Oh, okay. Forgot the F. Good. So if we go straight, there's no angular velocity and uh, if we turn the car, we see the angular velocity. Let's try something else. If we just turn the car, we see the angular velocity. Okay. So, um, let's add the speed. The speed is the linear velocity. In uh, meters per second. Looks good. So let's go to our vehicle controller because we want to know the sideways velocity. The sideways velocity we want we want to display it at runtime as well. But first we have to compute it.
Okay. Now we can display it. Check. If we go straight, there's no sideways velocity, but if we turn the car, sideways velocity is more or less exactly like the speed. And uh, this sideways velocity we want to reduce or maybe we can make it zero. But currently we are sliding. Yeah, here we should push the car with a force in order to reduce the sideways velocity. Let's go back to our vehicle controller and uh, um, the force we call a grip force. That will be the force that pushes the car. But um, how do we compute this force? We don't know currently. Um, maybe we can give it just a constant value. Um, that probably won't work, but uh, let's give it a try. force at the offset okay it does something but uh, not what we want good 